15 years ago in the United States, two students opened fire at a Colorado high school. They killed 12 of their classmates and a teacher before turning the guns on themselves. The Columbine massacre shocked the small town of Littletown, Littleton rather, and the rest of the world. CCTV's Hendrik Sabrandi sat down with the parents of one of the victims on what they've learned since that fateful day. April 20, 1999, gunfire and kids' screams pierce a Colorado spring morning. Parents of Columbine High students rush to school to hug their children, but not everyone is that lucky. You just hope for the best. You know, in the back of your mind, the worst is there. By nightfall, 15-year-old Danny Rohrbaugh has still not come home. The next morning, as his stepfather pours through the local newspaper, a family member tries contacting yet another hospital. And just as she was ready to call, I turned the page, and there it would be on the sidewalk there. So. That's how you mm. found out. Yeah. That's what you call a life-changing moment right there. You're in shock, and you're... It's a nightmare, and you're just hoping that you're going to wake up from it, and you just, I mean, I couldn't believe it happened. And so began Rich and Sue Patron's lives post-Columbine, an experience shared by Danny's father and many others in the Littleton community. Danny is buried here about a 10-minute drive from the high school. His mom says she stops by here once a month or so. It used to be much more frequent. She says that day's events are not at the forefront of her mind like they once were. But then as April 20th comes around, it pushes its way forward. You just feel it. The Patrons have drawn on each other, their family, and careers to push through the heartache. They're still angry that warning signs about the Columbine shooters were not acted on beforehand. They're disappointed that other school shootings followed this one. Every one of these shooters has had trouble with the law has had some type of issue that everybody knew about, and that's the frustrating part for me. It's just commonplace now. It's not, oh my God, I hope this never happens. You're just, it's now it's to the point that, wow, I wonder where it's gonna happen next. One question Danny's mom doesn't ask, what would her son be like today at age 30? That's the part that hurts, because that's, that's my son. He was fun. He was a lot of fun. So that's, I don't think, what if. You remember all the good times you had with them and we're grateful that, you know, God let us have that time with them, you know, and hopefully if we mind our P's and Q's, we'll be there with them. One Columbine family, 15 years later. You know, Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Littleton, Colorado.